All right, so this is my final review of the Dynamic Barcelona one to two person. Sorry, there was something on the lens. Uh, the one to two person sauna, you can get it on uh, Amazon or wherever. Uh, let me take you through it really quick and tell you the pros and the cons, the things that I like about it. I really think, actually, let me make sure you can get a, a good um, view of this. I really think it's a good value for the money as far as the cabinet and stuff is concerned. Um, the build quality is pretty good. Um, for a thousand dollars, twelve hundred bucks, it's got some niceties. It has a magazine rack. It's got a towel um, bar, and it has an essential oils uh, little holder thing, which is really cool. It's got speakers. They kind of suck, but I mean, for the money, at least it has them. It doesn't have a stereo, but you can plug in any MP3 device that you want. Um, let's see. What else do I like? I, I really think, from all the other saunas that I've tried, <clears throat> the cabinet. I'm really impressed by the cabinet. A lot of people say that things that are imported from China, you should be really weary of them, or that the, um, you know, the wood is going to have toxins and all this. I find the build quality of this thing to be pretty good, um, especially considering the price. It's better than some that I've seen that are several thousand dollars. Um, not to make this a comparison video, but the build quality of this particular sauna um, is totally shit compared to this one. Uh, and this is less money, by the way, less than half. So let's see, let's get to the cons. Why am I sending it back? Well, I'm sending it back. I have a whole separate video on the EMF levels in here. Um, it gets up to 151 degrees. It doesn't heat up very quickly in my opinion. I keep it about 70, 75 degrees in this particular house. And it takes anywhere from, I don't know, 35 to 55 minutes usually uh, to get to its max temperature. It makes a really weird beeping sound. Um, the controls and all the um, electronics and the power supply are in the ceiling. <clears throat> and when you sit in it, for some reason, it just goes like, doo, doo. It's, it's really bizarre. I don't know if it'll do it right now. Like, I guess I could just turn it on instead of just telling you about it. Uh, let's see. So I don't know if you guys can hear that or if it's just a high frequency thing, but it's just one of the annoyances. It makes it really, it doesn't go away either. It makes it extremely difficult to sit in there and to relax. But um, the main reason, you can go and watch my EMF level uh, video if you want the full scoop. But the main reason that I'm sending this back is because it's marketed as a low EMF sauna on Amazon. And I thought, you know, I just kind of took their word for it. And it turns out that once, I got my meters out. I never expected to have to do this, but um, it turns out that this is far from a low EMF sauna. Uh, most people consider low EMF to be, you know, the Swedish standard is under two milligauss. The American standard is 40 milligauss. Most people think anything under 10 is low EMF. Personally, I'm not gonna bathe in a sauna um, that is going to zap it shit that's gonna zap the hell out of me um, <clears throat> we've got several different meters here we've got a tri field it's in the 20s but we've got ambience in here of four so I would s the the tri field doesn't do a good job of accounting for that so I would say it's 16 um, we've got the Cornet ED 88 T which is 0.8 times 10 or 100 whichever so that's 8 milligauss and then the triple axis um, UHS-2 is 13. There's no RF in here. It doesn't have Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, so that's pretty safe. The, um, the thing that sucks is that <clears throat> what I'm showing you right now is the good part. So the bad part is when you go to the corner, I mean, we're in the 70s. We're in the 50s here. This one, if I can get it to focus, is in the 50s. Still no RF. Um, if I were to take these meters off and separate them, it's even higher. And a lot of people, you know, make excuses and say, well, this meter is too good and da da da, da. If you put it on single axis, <clears throat> it's still like super, super high. If I get in here and show you, I mean, this is like pretty outrageously high. So 60s, 70s, just several inches away from you is pretty ridiculous. So that's right up against the bottom of the heater, but this is a one to two person, so you're gonna be pretty close to it. Let me see if I can do this. <clears throat> right in the middle. So this is the middle, and you can see, 
you know, how close you are to this stuff. The thing is, your back is only about two inches away from the heaters. So when you have levels that are hit this high, <clears throat> the fall off rate, if we come two inches away, um, what's going on here? Hello? The, um, the fall off rate isn't significant enough really to get you into, because this is just one side. If we take it into, oh, 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 I just broke that. <laughs> not used to filming um, while I'm in here. Shit. Well, that's a problem. I'm supposed to be packaging this up to send it back. Um, okay. Well, anyway, let's get to the point. Um, I forgot what I was saying now. I think I was just trying to do a quick little overview because my EMF video turned out to be really long and um, was kind of having like a brain fog moment uh, yesterday or just foggy head so I was sort of rambling and just wanted to make a shorter synopsis video of why I'm getting rid of this thing. Um, there we go with the Cornet, there we go with the Tri-Field, and then this is the most reliable triple axis Gauss meter. So I'm sending it back because that's pretty much unsafe to me and um, yeah, I don't think doing the detox protocol, <clears throat> the niacin detox protocol in this thing for 60 plus hours is a good idea. So if, um, if you guys have any suggestions on the next brand that I should try, please let me know in the comments.